Also, do I care about being stared at? No, because I look cool. And people are only staring because they're either intimidated, jealous, or just clueless as to what real fashion is. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. If you are new here, then welcome. I'm Lily and I'm fashion obsessed. And I have a shopping addiction, so if you can relate, please do subscribe. Um, it would mean the absolute world to me if any new people could subscribe. I'm sorry for crouching down, but this is the issue we're having. These are my favourite videos to film ever. Anyone that knows me will know that I'm just obsessed with ASOS. And I've not done a haul in like a, f a couple of months actually and it's quite sad. So I am here with a haul today. Some of these things I bought a while ago. I will try and link them if they're still available um, but I just thought I would show them anyway. A lot of the pieces have been shown on my Instagram as well. So I'll try and style them differently just for the people that do follow me on there that have already seen them. You know, this video will be a bit pointless if that's the case. So yeah, I'll try and style them differently. I will include any pictures that I do already have that have been on my Instagram. If you are just finding me through this video, then please, like I say, subscribe to my channel. But also go and follow me on Instagram. I will leave... I'll leave my username on the screen somewhere. It's Lily R Fellows, Lily with one L, R4, Rose. <laughs> um, but yeah, I really hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to get into it. I'm going to just try the pieces on as I go um, and style them up. And I really hope you enjoy. Everything will be linked down below. So yeah, if you want the pieces, go and shop them down below. And yeah, <laughs> I don't know why I'm out of breath. Why am I out of breath? I don't know but anyway thank you for clicking on the video i hope you enjoy it and i'm just gonna get straight into it i'm sorry if i look so pale it's because of the lighting um so this is outfit number one i'll pan you down so you can see the bottom do i have a camel toe i can't see from it um so like i said some of these things i got a while ago i purchased this in december i planned on wearing it on christmas day because you know i just wanted to, i wanted to get a bit glam on christmas and then reality hit and I was like, are you actually going to eat a big Christmas dinner? And then sit around at home in this? No. <laughs> so I'm saving it for when I can go out. It is actually classed as loungewear, um, which I understand because it's comfy, but also it's, it looks very dressy um, for loungewear. But, you know, if you want to lounge around in this, then go ahead. But it's not for me. I prefer to just lounge in oversized things that just cover all of my sins but yeah i love it so i'll pun you like i said i'll pun you down this is the top i just think that is so gorgeous so it's like a um racer neck looks kind of halter neck um but you you will actually tie it here as you can see i'm sorry if i'm so pale I mean, I don't really, why am I apologising for having pale skin? Like, that's ridiculous. I did fake tan last night, but it didn't go as dark as what I wanted it to. So I'll pan you down so you can see the bottoms. Please just excuse my slippers. Um. <laughs> so these are the bottoms. They're like huge flares. They're really skinny on the leg, and then they go down into a huge flare. Um, as you can see, they are very um, long on me. Um, so they're very long on me because I'm five foot three. I am a petite girl. They did not come in petite. Um, I'm a size eight. I'm pretty sure I got both of them in a size eight, but I will check and I will write down next to next to it in the description. But imagine this on a night out with a pair of heels and a nice bag. I think it's stunning. For loungewear as well, it's so comfy. Don't get me wrong, I've got a bit of a, I've got a bit of a tire around my waist. I'm not sure why, but I just bloat a lot. Um, yeah, I bloat a lot. <laughs> these flares, if you're looking for a nice comfy pair of flares, um, these are amazing. Um, I am going to try and take them up slightly myself. Um, 
because I, I can do things like that but these with like chunky black boots you know the vibe um and a hoodie that kind of stuff i've not really been wearing things like this um if you follow me on instagram you're probably looking at me right now thinking that is so not you but yeah i love it and i can't wait to wear it when we go out next up now it's gone dark right i don't know how well this will pick up on camera but this is the next piece let me show you the back. I hope this isn't one of like my long hairs on the back. I'm in love with this jacket. Like, I, I think I might actually have feelings for it. So it's this Nike Borg fleece. It's got like a high collar on it. Um, even like the little zip detail. That's focus. It's a little Nike tick. I will say I've got this in a size large. It's not that oversized. Um, so I size up anyway. Like I say, I'm five foot three and typically a size eight. So yes, I would usually be a size small, but if you want something that's oversized, you're best to size up. So I did size up to a large. Um, because it is a cropped fit, it's not that long. Someone said that the they'd bought it before and the sleeves were like huge, which yes they are, that's my arm stretched out. And I have quite long arms. Um but I think it makes it cosier. So I paired it with, I just paired it with this gym set. I mean, I'll put the picture on screen. Um, just this gym set from Pretty Little Thing. They do this in like cream as well. Just look at how stunning that is. I just love it. Yeah, they do it in cream. But can you imagine a cream around your neck? no not when it's 95 pounds that's why i got the black and i thought this is just going to go with everything anyway um and i'm in love with it i got these cycling shorts last year from asos um they're just black with a little night tick so i thought with the jacket i just thought you know it would work so like i say if you're going into the warmer months and you don't want to wear like a full-on you know this lighting is going to have me screaming. Why does it keep doing this? But anyway, I'll link this down below. Check it out. And yeah. Next up. Um, so this was a recent purchase. This is a just a black Nike. Sorry, I've got my chins in there. Um, a black Nike quarter zip um, jumper. Why does the lighting keep doing that? I don't know if it's because of the white wall and my light hair. But yeah, I love this. Again, I will show you how I styled it on Instagram in case you don't follow me on there. And I'll insert the pictures. But this, I actually bought it for this reason, but this isn't how I styled it the other day. I just thought, I saw it and I was like, that would actually work so well with the cycling shorts. Just so you can see like that little bit underneath. Oh my God, I've got goosebumps on my legs. Um, yeah. Again, a great like transitional going into autumn, no, going into spring. Have I been saying autumn the whole time? Probably. Um, but yeah, going into spring, you know when you need something to cover you up a little bit more, but you can still get your legs out. I feel like I'm being a bit basic in this haul. If you follow my Instagram, you know that I'm not basic, but I feel like these outfits I'm trying on right now are a little bit basic. Um... But yeah, I'll go and put it on with the things that I was wearing the other day um, because I really like the outfit and I will include the pictures. This is how I styled it the other day. Bear with my raw neck's not rolled. <laughs> um, I love putting a turtleneck under like anything just for layering. I really want to change these earrings. So, I mean, this is so random. When I was in school, I was one of them people that thought it would be cool to stretch my ear. And although it appears to be healed, it is slightly too big. So this earring just keeps sliding out and falling out my ear. One of my biggest regrets um, from when I was younger, along with over plucking my eyebrows. I just put it on with my knee white knee high boots from Pretty Little Thing. These are my favourite thing in the world. I mean, you'll see it on the pictures anyway, because I'll include them. Um, yeah, it's it's obviously it's not the it's not the longest 
I get questions all the time on what I wear underneath my outfits that aren't very long. I actually wear these shorts from Pretty Little Thing. I mean, they're not the most flattering um, to wear alone. They're the perfect length. They cover the bum, they cover everything, but they're always hidden. Like now, you can't see them, but they give you that security because this isn't very long. If I lift my arms up, obviously it comes up. Um, so the shorts give you that um, kind of like safety. So yeah, these sunglasses I think were like two pounds from Primark in the summer. And my pretty little thing bag. This goes with everything, it goes with the boots. This isn't like a typical outfit that you would necessarily wear if you see like a Nike jumper or like this quarter zip. You wouldn't necessarily think to dress up with some boots um because obviously nike's a sports brand but you can do anything so that's why i wanted to wear this you know sportswear but make it fashion and make it a bit more glam and yeah i love the pictures the pictures turned out really good in my opinion um this was about 48 pounds so i don't actually think that's too bad again if you're a student you can get a discount um just a quick heads up i know for a fact no i don't know for a fact um but it's valentine's day soon and i have a feeling asos will do a discount maybe like 20 percent. they usually do 20 percent off um when it's like an event again they have it in like a really light cream color um which might be nice for spring and summer but i'm not a massive fan of it because again it's the makeup situation like this kind of collar on a cream like a really light off-white kind of cream um if you pay more money for something i mean if you like it if you want that color go ahead it will make it washes out but also the nike tick is still white so you can't really see it i think this just stands out nicely again it goes with a lot i love a monochrome outfit i love you know black and white and yeah i just love this I can't wait to wear it over and over again because I will. And it's the perfect thing to lounge around in as well. So, yeah. Also the perfect thing for your boyfriend to steal. Um, you will probably see Harvey in this at some point. But I just love it. I love this shirt. So this is from Collusion on ASOS. It is like chocolate brown. I'm sorry if it's screwed up. Like chocolate brown, creams, whites, um like in this check print so i've got it on with a like a, a chocolate brown colored roll neck from pretty little thing and again my pretty little thing boots oh shit <laughs> um we'll go this way instead um i paired it with the same bag as my last one but of course in chocolate brown i just love this it's so thick i think it was like 22 pounds but in a size what size did i get it in i'm sure i've got a size eight but again i'll write it down below um but yeah it is quite oversized i got these glasses from asos not that long ago um i did check earlier and they are sold out again but these were on sale for like eight pounds they're a chunky brown frame so of course i love them because they are brown jesus again i will show you how else to style it but i just think this is a great transitional piece any shirt like check shirt is great you can wear it however you want even with like denim shorts in the summer i'll show you with another pair of boots yeah so these boots let me take the glasses off these boots aren't actually from asos but i'm just showing you i'm just showing you anyway so i probably look like a garden gnome right now chocolate brown chunky boots this video is actually a mess i'm so sorry um i promise it does look good when my legs are down these are the boots i i, I know they're not to everyone's taste like i said i do look a bit like a, a garden gnome i love the chunky sole um but you know, I just, I'm obsessed with the colour. I'm so sorry about my chip nails and the fa I don't smoke. 
my nails make me look like a smoke but it's just fake tan um i love them i have got black chunky boots as well i'll show you these ones these ones are from asos i think they were from pimkey um they weren't that expensive but i think they sold out so i will link some similar from asos um these are a staple i will put a picture here that asos reposted um i'm wearing these with joggers so um but yeah i have worn these with like an oversized t-shirt dress type thing go on my instagram and have a look but these are dirty so i'm gonna put them down but i'm just obsessed with boots it's like chunky boots those knee high boots i just love them i've very rarely been wearing like trainers or anything else to be honest because i'm just obsessed with these boots um so i put it on with my black um please excuse the toes if you can see them um my black split hem jeans from pretty little thing and i actually think it works i like it open um yeah i actually really like that i don't know if you can see the contrast between oh my gosh i'm so sorry about the white bra i promise that's not as bad that's just because of the lights i don't usually wear white bras for things like this but i just really couldn't be bothered to find a nude one um but yeah i think that looks great just another it's kind of like a chuck on outfit you know if you go to the supermarket you want to look nice put on a pair of jeans and an oversized check shirt even this outfit with the chunky boots i think like split hem jeans with chunky boots divine looks beautiful i always say like in my videos well i don't but i said in like my first ever video which was my sisters and seekers styling video i i don't just want to do hauls and show you like one item of clothing with one outfit i want to be able to show people that you can make the most of the um make the most of the item um get more for your money and actually has the money to be buying clothes and only wear them once do you know what i mean sometimes you see an influence wearing something and you like it but you don't want to copy their full outfit but you don't actually know what else to style it with so that's what i'm trying to do or maybe one outfit that I show you might not be to your taste, but another one is. You might absolutely hate the white boots, but you don't have to wear it with the white boots. This coat is beautiful. So again, this is collusion. I'll insert the pictures right here. I love how these pictures turned out. I'm obsessed with this coat. Like, I just love it. So it's obviously like faux leather brown with this gorgeous orange fur detail um on the back as well it's so soft like so soft i got this in a size 10 again it's kind of a crop to fit oh my god that's quite embarrassing wearing it with these trousers i'm not a fan of this outfit together but i will insert the other pictures that I took in these trousers with a brown cropped blazer from Pretty Little Thing. These are so flattering. They do fit. However, they've only got like a button on the inside. It's kind of struggling. I feel like it needs like a, a hook and eye on the inside. But you can easily attach those yourself. Um, but yeah, they're really, really comfy. With the brown boots again. I am looking for some nice black ones because I know that they will go with more. I did actually order some that would have been included in this haul, but I have sent them back because the, uh, the zip bust when I put them on. I am obsessed. But yeah, as you can tell, I'm still obsessed with chocolate brown. I've got a cat hair on my nose. Thank you very much. And don't get me wrong, this outfit is cool, but it's a little bit too out there. Um, I would have a picture in it, but would I be comfortable walking around in it? No, because I know that I'd get stared at. But also... Also, do I care about being stared at? No, because I look cool. And people are only staring because they're either intimidated, jealous, or just clueless as to what real fashion is. Anyway... I'll link the outfit below. I hope you like it. I love this jacket. So I got these trousers 
Um, they're pink Dickies trousers. I don't know what I was thinking. Harvey has these. If you're new here, if you found me through this, Harvey's my boyfriend. Um, and he is very much into fashion as well. He has these Dickies trousers in black. I, I just, I actually, I can't be asked anymore. The earrings are going, guys. I'm sorry. I can't be having that. I shit myself every time we hit the floor. So yeah, Harvey has these in black and like a, a camely beige colour. He pulls them off so well. They are like... They're like that work wear kind of thing, if that makes sense. But I love the pink and I was like, if Harvey can pull them off then so can I. I thought, they're not my style, they're his. <laughs> but here we are with some pink work trousers. I do love them. I have rolled them up because I'm small. I, I will try them on, obviously. Um, but I will just say, they only start from a waist 28 which is actually two inches bigger than what I am. Um, I'm a waist 26. So I did get this belt with them. Now, don't get me wrong, I know these belts aren't in fashion anymore, um, but it is Dickies again. And it's pink, it's the same shade of pink and that's why I got it, because I don't really like, like, I can't imagine this with like a big black belt, if that makes sense. Um, so that's why I got this. These were both on sale. I can't remember the original price of this, but it was on sale for about £14. These were on sale from 55 down to 38 and I thought I got a bargain. And now they've gone down further to about £24. So, fuming. Honestly, I just don't know what to wear with them. They'll look good with my Comme de Garçon, but it's like I don't know what top to wear. Now that I've put them on, I actually really, really like them. I'm not putting the belt on because that's just a big faff to put it on, to be honest. Um... Of course, they are huge. So they are really big. I'm thinking of adjusting the waist myself. I love the colour of them. With a pair of heels on a night out, I know these are like workwear, but honestly, these would be stunning. So if these fit my waist, so if I adjusted them, I think they look great. But with like the straight leg, again, sorry about my toes, my slippers. And then this is them rolled up. If I adjusted that, just some really nice pink trousers. I will style these up properly, I promise. You'll see them on my Instagram. Follow me over there and you'll see how I wear them. I actually really like them. Again, Dickies on the bomb. See, if I adjust this waist, because they kind of go out where the pockets are, they give you a, a very nice waist, actually. I actually like them so much more now they're on. Anyway. I'm going to end this video here. I think that's it. Oh, wait. Just one last thing. I bought some anklets. I know you're probably thinking why. Hear me out. That's what they look like. They are huge. I have the skinniest ankles, so I don't know how they're going to fit. But these were like £6, I think. On a night out, when you're wearing heels, like I always wear my Perspex mule heels. A little gold chain around the ankle to dress it up stunning you know with your nice tanned feet and your white toes yes but also when you're wearing um like your nike socks and your trainers this over the sock fashion i'm gonna end this video here i hope it doesn't take too long to edit because i have been speaking a lot of shite i will insert as many pictures as i can that i have already taken because I know that the camera angles aren't great. I don't actually know why. I don't know if I usually put my camera further away. Probably do. That's why I'm like hunched down like this. But I feel like if I'm further away and still up straight, then I'm too far. So I don't know what's going on with that. I hope the lighting's not too bad either. I hope this video is not a mess. I'm so sorry if you did not get this far. I mean, you won't be watching it anyway, so I don't know why I'm saying that. If you did get this far, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you are new here, please do subscribe. It would mean the absolute world to me. Everything will be linked down below. If it's out of stock, then I'm sorry I can't link it. I'll try and find similar things. Um, or I'll find it on a different website. If it's like the Nike things, I will tag it on Nike. But thank you so much for watching. Like the video and share it. Add it to your stories or retweet my tweet or share it on Facebook. Do whatever you can. I appreciate you so much. Thank you so much. Sorry if it's hectic. Sorry if I'm out of breath the whole time. 
I love you all. Stay safe. And I'll see you in my next video.